temperature problems and temperatures outside starting out mid 70s, even some upper 70s closer to the coast there on the islands this morning. Tybee and Hilton Head 77 to about 78 degrees. Many areas about 74 to 76. Now live radar showing nice and dry conditions across much of the area may have a stray shower thunderstorm possible a little later today, but most areas will remain rain free all the way uh, throughout the afternoon. Looking at tropical storm Arthur, which is off to the east. Here's Cape Canaveral right here and you see it almost east of there and trying to show it eye forming. Once that does, we'll probably see this increasing to a hurricane category one storm. It's not too far from that hurricane status right now. One thing with this is a very compact system. You can see the higher the cloud tops is bright red off to the east of the center. This is where the strongest of the winds will be east of the center of circulation. It's going to pass well east of our area, which means not having a great impact on our weather except for beach goers. You'll see moderate rip current risk for today and then going up to that high category once we go into tomorrow and that'll be the main impact in our area but mainly for coastal areas. Also for you boaters stay in port tomorrow. Small craft advisories will be up and for the offshore waters there'll probably be tropical storm warnings that are actually they're already up for the well offshore out of the Gulf Stream and rip current risk going up to that high category once we go into tomorrow. The storm is going to pass well east of our area like I said uh, at least right around about 150 miles. Now the storm tracker forecast today model is showing a mix of sunshine and clouds at 10 o'clock and we'll see plenty of sunshine throughout the day. Another warm day. Look at that one little stray shower popping up late this afternoon and into the evening. We'll see dry conditions all the way through 9 o'clock looking pretty good. And here's that forecast for the hurricane center is showing maximum sustained winds are 60 once it moves 74 miles per hour. That make, will make it a category one storm increasing speed now north at six miles per hour. Look how far off to the east it'll track of our area well east of Charleston as well. The areas will be watching this once we go into 4th of July morning will be the Outer Banks of North Carolina. They're going to see some uh, strong conditions, gusty winds, and the model is showing that already. And once we go to tomorrow morning, 530, you see it well east of our area. Look how strong the winds get at Hilton Head. 23 at best with this offshore winds once the storm lifts to the north. Hurricane passing just off the east of Myrtle Beach. Probably 80 to about 78 mile per hour wind speeds there at Cape Hatteras. This is early on 4th of July morning. Boy, what a nasty day there along the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And the bad thing about it for them, they'll probably have to evacuate the Outer Banks. And then the weekend up there is looking pretty nice. So unfortunately, it looks like that the coastal areas of North Carolina is going to miss out on this 4th of July holiday. And Wednesday's forecast today, sun and clouds, 92 degrees, a hot day on Thursday, scattered storms in the afternoon. Look at the 4th of July. Scorching temperatures, no surprise here. That's what it should be. Hot weather, and we'll see good weather for barbecues and anything uh, for outdoor activities. Shaping to be very nice. Also, the rip current risk will go th down throughout the day on Friday. Good. And then the upcoming weekend, temperatures close to seasonal average, a storm or two in the afternoon, highs in the lower 90s. Another thing, too, if you're traveling north on I-95 up into North Carolina, will not affect that interstate. This is mainly right. right along the immediate coast, outer banks, and extreme coastal sections of North Carolina. In our area, just rip current risk, but all you beach goers, don't go anywhere. You're going to actually have a really good weather the next couple of days with lots of sunshine. All right, just be careful and wear your sunscreen. Yeah, extreme Definitely. UV index. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, good everybody. Um, all right.